moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. If you listen to the scientists when it comes to climate change, when it comes to the heating up of our planet to the point that holding a hamburger patty out your kitchen window and cooking a hamburger are one and the same, there are two sides to this issue. So everybody needs to stop acting like there's some kind of consensus on climate change. There are those scientists who say if we don't change our ways in the next 50 or 100 years, then the planet will be uninhabitable, which I'm told is bad for standing poker games and juicy men. Mangoes. And I don't know about you, but I love a fucking mango. However, there are a whole lot of scientists on the other side who do not agree. Those scientists say we'll be beyond the point of no return in like five years. So everyone needs to just chill with the whole scientists agree bullshit. Oh yeah, there's also like 12 scientists who say, No, we can piss over all over the planet all we want and it'll never smell of urine. Those scientists all go by a secret name. That name is oil lobbyist. That means they have the oil industry's pipeline so far up their butts they have to use Kevin Costner's magic oil cleanup machine every time they sneeze. According to Noam Chomsky's article in truthout.org, the International Energy Agency recently estimated that if the world continues on its current path, the amount of carbon in our air will be beyond the point of no return by 2017, and the planet will quickly become heaven on earth if you're a cactus or an armadillo. So the world, and even more specifically America, needs a massive change in our ideology. Why are we having so much trouble with this? Why are we willing to drive mankind off a cliff, shoot mankind in the head, force mankind to have sex with an infected monkey? Why? Well, here's all you need to know. One, doubt is one of the easiest things to sow in the minds of a populace. Certainty is a lot harder. Two, much of our ideology, our cultural mindset, comes from the mass media nowadays. Just look at the creation of the idea of WMD in Iraq, or the idea that Kim Kardashian should be paid attention to. We were told to believe it, so we did. Three, the big corporations largely control our media and our government. Four, the big corporations always go towards profit, and there's not a lot of profit right now in containing global climate change. If profit is driving off a cliff, then corporations will drive us all off a cliff. If profit is having sex with a fucking infected monkey, then I'll be damned if we aren't stripping down and putting on some Barry Manilow in the conjugal visit room of the Atlanta Center for Disease Control. So you can pick up all the plastic bags you want, you can change all your light bulbs, you can drink out of recycled cups and adopt a cat made from repurposed tire rubber and old shoelaces as opposed to the less efficient flesh and bone feline model. And you can do all of that straight off the cliff. I'm not saying those things don't matter. I'm saying this is larger than that. The only way to turn this around is a full frontal climate defense revolution. The ruling elite control the message and the messenger. We need to demand they change our ideological paradigm that makes as much sense as eating two-day-old Indian food before a big presentation. As George Carlin said, the earth doesn't need saving. It will shake us off and keep moving. He's right. It's us that needs saving. It needs to be done like the civil rights movement. We need to say, here is the new cultural paradigm that you fucking cocksucking, twad-humping, bumblefucks don't want to accept. So we've accepted it for you. Now get in line. That's what we did with civil rights, and that's what we did with the feminist movement, and now we need a climate defense revolution because this change is as severe as switching from a feudal system to a capitalist one, from a monarchy to a democracy, from a Hulk Hogan fan to an Iron Sheik fan. This can't be done with laws. It has to be done with minds. Laws only serve as an encouragement. We don't have the world governments. We don't have the big money. We don't have the major messengers. However, we are the ones stepping closer and closer to making love to that contaminated monkey. And we can stop and say, no, there's a different way to exist. And it starts today. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. If you feel like commenting, let me know. Do you think we can turn this ship around? Do you think we're all just going to watch as we go straight into the iceberg? Well, there won't be any icebergs left. But anyway, let me know. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. 
fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.